Zach Owens on the Tevin Starter Show. Let's get it. Yeah. 
And what, what made you get up that morning and be like, I gotta go to this game? Well, it's definitely, I mean, the biggest part was Zach. I mean, coming to watch him and uh, cheer him on in the state game was probably the biggest the biggest reason I wasn't going to miss one of my one of my boys playing in the state championship and winning ring. So, it's good to say. Oh, we were up, ready to go. Yep. Uh, got the car, drove down, got her t-shirts on, ready to go. charges, is sprinting in defense, is setting quality screens, is blocking people out, boarding, these kinds of things that require toughness. You, individually, got to take it as a personal challenge that if the guy you're guarding gets the rebound or dives on the floor before you do or is tougher than you, that is an absolute embarrassment to you. That can't happen tonight. It's got to be a thing where you say, I am going to go out there and you, together with my teammates, we're going to do this, but you are not going to do anything easy against me tonight. Defensively, we got to set the tone. All right? We got to set the tone. It's been our theme all year. All the things that we're supposed to be doing out of our 41. Attack gaps, ready to kick. If you're open, that ball's in. One, two, three. Play on. Early option. Early option. Silver. A lot of bounce for us. A lot of bounce for us. More of us. Let's go. Let's go. A lot of bounces.
thoughts that we had, especially once we, we got it to about an eight point game, uh, that you know, or seven point game, whatever it was. It's the Lord's thank you for the growth that we're making. I ask you to take us now and just help us to have a good week of preparation and uh, go to Wesleyan with everything we got. Uh, Lord, we give you praise and glory for the blessings you've given each and every guy in here, ultimately for the fact that you died on the cross for us in Jesus' name. Yep. Any fun little memories of them? Camp. Camp. The time you won the trophy and we Oh uh, yeah, the uh, conference tournament. I mean the Hall of Fame classic. Yeah. Got that. Got him on the floor. You know. Any other fun memories you remember of them? The time we had to do push-ups together in camp. Oh yeah, we lost the game. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> good job, good job, man. I'm about to say, you, you want to know my honest opinion? The double teams, right? And people are trying to force it. Instead of looking at your boy, number 22, you mean, pass. Yeah, I mean, pass. And you lose the whole defense. You know what you do when you see a double team? You go right to it. on the game? Um, it was a slow start, but we picked it up and, and took the momentum and got the win, so it was a great team win overall. Just speak on that second year, man. Uh, second year here at Huntington University, um, I finally adjusted to a lot of things that were tough my freshman year, so this year a lot of things were more smooth and easier, and 
I was just able to succeed in a lot of things that I failed at my first year. So that was good to see my growth from my freshman year to my sophomore year. Now, advice to high school student athletes? Uh, work out every day and get bigger. Um, I think that's the biggest thing that I had to work on, just getting stronger. Um, I was always fast, so that, that helped me when I went to the next level. But just become a, a student of the game and really understand basketball instead of just trying to go get a bucket or um, just playing one-on-one. -on -one. Use your team and just get better individually. Work out in the summer and continue to grow as a player. Man, what did these few 30-point um, games you had mean? What did those mean to you? Uh, they meant a lot. Actually, uh, my first, I had 31 like earlier in the season, and that was kind of a resemblance to my Uncle Ike who died. So that was, a, that was a big game. And then I had a big game against Taylor, and I had 30 again. Um, and I, I mean, it was just fun basketball. My teammates were finding me, and I was just hot. So it was just a great night. It's a great feeling, but it's just the hard work paying off. I felt like I deserved it. And what does it mean to continue to battle through adversity? Um, adversity has been with me my whole life, so it's always just a it's always just that one up feeling, you know, just, yeah, I got through that, you know. Now, what's the next challenge? Just, it's always about preparing for the next thing. Never never get too high or too low over an accomplishment or a fail. So that adversity that I face, is it's, it's always going to be there my whole life. So I'm always looking forward to the next to the next challenge. Your mom talked about a, a camp you might have at Anderson and just, like, the emphasis she wanted for um, special needs children. Was yeah, so that's... Um, I really just want to give a chance to, for people to get out the house and you know get off of social media, come out and have a have a great time just to have fun. And basketball is a great way to do that to bring people together. I mean, we brought people together on the state run who probably had nothing to do. You know, those days where we had regional games or the state championship in Indianapolis. So I feel like a camp to have players come back that you know I played AAU with, top players like that. So I think I think it can be a great day. Um, yeah, first one of the first coaches, uh, Kelly. Describe him. Uh, Coach Huck. Uh, it said Eric Kelly. Eric Kelly, yeah, Coach Hug. Uh -huh. Coach Hug, he was real. He was he was, he was real big on defense and about us being scrappy. He he instilled that in me uh, around third grade through fifth grade, and he was really just big on let's get, get defense, let's get stops, let's get stops in a row, and be just be real feisty, but also moving our feet and playing playing with our feet and not with our hands. So he was he was big on that, and you know defense is the offense, so we scored a lot of points. So that was fun. So ever since then, I've just been in love with defense. Uh, even talk about any of the surgeries that you remember? Um, the only thing that I really remember from the surgeries is like, they asked me what kind of, what was my favorite pop. I told them Dr. Pepper. And that was when I was real young. And then after that, I was just knocked out. So I really don't yeah. remember that. And then uh, when it was over, I remember uh, like Riley, the hospital, they have wagons. And I remember sitting in a wagon, um, like going past the elevators, but the elevators are like reflection. I remember just having like this big wrap around my head, a whole bunch of cords like hooked up under all yeah. of the wrap. And that's that's really the only thing I remember. And I remember uh, being in like a cage, in like a cage where like nobody could come in, nobody could touch me to where I couldn't fall out of the bed and stuff like that. Um, and that's pretty much all I remember. I mean, describe um, just the relationship with Ike and what you do it for. Um, my freshman and sophomore year, well, my, I'll start with my freshman year. I um, started varsity for Anderson High School, um, and that was like a real shocker to me because me and my friends would go to the game in the eighth grade and be like, man, we can't wait to play JV. And when I had got to Anderson, the coach was like, the varsity coach was like, what's our shoe you wear? And that kind of like stung me. I'm like, oh, shoot, I might be on varsity. So my first varsity start was against Muncie Central, and I went up and talked to Ike before every game, and I really just played for him. So everything that I know now, um, is really from him. I, I, he's been my coach since I was three in the Ike Jackson Basketball League, and that's still on to this day. Um, so me and his relationship, I mean, we were just real close. He was just always there for me, always told me the right thing. He was a quiet guy, but when he spoke, it, it, it meant a lot, and it was it was very helpful. So, yeah. Describe uh, meeting John Wall, that experience. Uh, that was crazy. Um, he was bigger than I thought, but he wasn't as big as I thought either. So. Um, but I, I didn't know the whole day. I wasn't even going to go to the game because we had practice for um, addicts. And I'm like, no, I'm not missing practice because it's getting ready to be sectional time. So I was just locked in for that, hoping, you know, because we got to state. So I was just trying to be there every day. Um, and then my coach, Coach Justin, he was like, I'll take you to the game. Don't worry about it. I was telling my mom I'm not going. I had an attitude all day. So we finally get to the game. He was like, uh, what you want for your birthday? I'm like, I really just want a John Wall jersey. 
um, just to wear around, you know, concerts, stuff like that, just to have a John Wall because he's my favorite player. Um, so we get there, my mom and just, you know, all of my friends is there. I'm like, what's going on? And so they, you know, my mom pulled the phone out. Um, Indie Star is there. I'm like, man, what is going on? Like, am I about to go on the court or something? So uh, one of the Pacer escorts was like, I'll take Zach and we'll go down the elevator and we go down and I'm getting a little close to the floor. I'm like, all right, what's going on? They like, uh, John, we get to meet John Wall. It's good on working out. So it was good to see um, a pro actually work out in person and, and to see how crispy and, and sharp that he was. It was just, it was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta step my game up if that's where I want to get to eventually. So, but then when, he, when I met him and talked to him, he was just. He, he really said the same thing that I'm telling you now, of just keep working and follow your dreams because he came from nothing, just like I did. So it was, it was just a great experience to meet him. Um, Coach Wash, that's, that's, that's my dog. He, uh, he really took my game to the next level um, from just being a, a, wild, a wild player to, to being a smartly aggressive. I think that was his biggest thing. He was always like, I want you to still be aggressive, but just be smart about it. Not necessarily just driving to the rack, throwing it up, but driving to the rack and sometimes you might have to kick or sometimes you might have to finish and get an and one, but just always be feisty and never give up. And the one thing I like about Coach Walsh is he always challenges you. He asks you questions of like, is he better than you? Like he doesn't necessarily embarrass you, like he shouldn't score on you, you know what I'm saying? Or like, go at him, go at him. You know, just a coach constantly building your confidence to make you become that great player that he wants you to be. That's why he wins a lot of games as a coach. Man, describe that feeling of winning state. Man, state, that's that's, that's a once in a lifetime feeling, man. Um, I really just felt like I was on cloud nine. Me and my team just really enjoyed that. Um, it was just great to see the community come out. Um, we knew from we knew from the beginning of the year that we was going to win state. Um, we took a we took a tough loss to Cecilia though, which kind of shocked a lot of people. But we bounced back quick. Um, Mikey Sabandi, Tion, and Alex and Jamal and Briscoe, they all you know they they stepped up big time. Um, and we just went through that journey, had fun. It was just it was just a big family. Nobody hated, nobody cared how many points anybody scored. It, at the end of the day, it was just like let's just get a win. And we had some great coaches and. It was just it was just a fun time, a great time of life. Um, yeah, Coach Matt, he was always in my ear junior year when I could play. Um, and I think he, he instilled a lot of like the system and what they wanted from me as a player. So that really helped me um, gel with the guys as the senior year came along. Um, Coach Hawk, he was a real laid back guy. He was pretty much like, hey, I know y'all got talent, so just show me what y'all can do. And when he needed to coach, he stepped up and took that role. And Coach Taylor, he was just he was just that guy who was just always optimistic, just always uplifting, uplifting, uplifting. Um he really he really knows the game though, but he's just he's just real quiet spoken and when he says something it's like, okay, yeah, that's right. Man. Moms, that's my you know, that's my everything. She's my outlet. I feel like I'm her outlet too. I mean, we just that's my road dog, whatever I need or whatever she needs, we always there for each other. She's always She's always put me first, even you know, it's times where when we was younger she didn't eat just so I could eat or it's times where, you know what I'm saying, it was I couldn't get the best pair of shoes, but she still made it happen and I still got them sometimes. So I was just always thankful for her and when I was young I really didn't understand the struggle. But kinda around like middle school, she we started getting real close and she just started explaining to me like you know what I'm saying? We don't we don't we don't have much. So I mean I just need you to go hard at everything you do and I really just got that from her because she always found a way. So I feel like every time I step on the court or I work out or I'm I'm a student in the classroom, I just always have to find a way to make it work and, and don't make excuses because she never made excuses. So that's why I just love her so much. Um Zach's journey, well, for him growing up, he had, you know, a lot of obstacles in front of him. Just him being born and him having, you know, a partial brain and needing to get, I mean, not partial brain, but partial skull and having to get that done early in adolescence. Um, he went through a lot, but he's a tough kid. Showed resilience at a young age. Um, as he grew up, um, I know he dealt with his situation with the high school, you know, with the transfer in the high schools. Um, and that's when he and I really got intertwined. Um, and he sat out that whole year, and that was hard for him. But it also taught him 
valuable lessons. You know, he, he learned the insides and out. He was able to pick the, the brain of the coaches. Um, he was able to see what was missing out there on the floor. And what I would tell him um, a lot during practice or during film um, was you, you got to see what is missing out there on the floor. Because when you are able to play, that day that you become able to play, you can bring exactly what's missing out there on the floor. Um, that next year, you know, sadly, I wasn't along with the ride, but he was able to play, him and Jamal. And it was a great thing to, to see. It was just like watching the caterpillar becoming a butterfly. You know what I mean? It was, it was um, special. And uh, then able to, you know, prove the naysayers wrong, make it to the state, win the state, graduate, go to college on a basketball scholarship. He won. Um, you know, when he got to college here, dealt with adversity. Um, and he and I talk all the time, text messages, or he'll come over or give me a call. And I just have to remind him of his journey that he's been through his whole life. And every time he's reminded of, you know, how he started off, it makes him stronger. Shows, and he shows more resilience. So now in this college situation, he was in a situation where he wasn't even playing. Um, he was getting little mints here and there. Um, and my conversation to him was, you sat out a whole season. You act like you haven't done this before. And he was like, you're right. So what he did was he sat down and he studied more. And once he got his shot, that was it. Now he's having 20, 30 point games. Um, and, it's, and it's great to watch him flourish out there on the floor. Um, with that, I mean, I, I think we share a lot uh, in common um, with rising above adversity. I feel like I've risen a lot um, through a lot of adversity in my life as well as he has, and I think the connection is deep. Um, I consider him family, just like I consider all my, my players family. Um, so I, I'm very proud of him. Um, I think this is not gonna be his last stop for basketball. I believe he'll probably um, go to a bigger program after his journey is over here at Huntington. Um, but I think what he's bringing to Huntington is something exciting. I think they enjoy watching him play. I think they enjoy his passion. Um, as a coach, it's great to see um, other fans from you know all walks of life enjoy watching your players play and you had something to do with it as far as putting your hand in it. So I think it's a win all across the board. Um, with his mom, you know, having tears of joy, just based off of being a proud mother and watching her son rise through the fire, um, I think that's the greatest story ever.